Hey, hey there. Welcome back to Catholic with a Meditative Mind, the Catholic podcast where we strive to bring you meditative Catholicism for meditative Catholics. I'm your humble host, Adam Joseph Martin. I'd like to wish you all a very blessed Good Friday. Now I'm going to get this out of the way real quick, because when we end, we're just going to end. I'm not going to fancy it up any. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to get a hold of me, send me an email, request any content, ask any questions, correct anything that I say, go ahead. Uh, the email is ajmcatholicmind at protonmail.com. Or you can follow me at Twitter, catholic, at catholic underscore mind. And the Facebook page is www.facebook.com forward slash AJ Martin Catholic Zen Mind. I also ask that you guys go ahead and go uh, subscribe to the Anchor link. I'll put the Anchor link down in the description for the YouTube video. And if you're listening on Anchor, I ask that you guys go on over to YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I'll put the link in the Anchor description box. So... Now that that's out of the way, uh, I'm here today to, well, bring you guys the Father Lassance version of the Way of the Cross. Now, before we do that, I do want to talk about something a little bit more on a serious note. I mean, I'm not saying the Stations of the Cross aren't serious. Uh, the crucifixion of our Lord's not serious. So don't get me wrong here. Um, but I want to talk about something going on uh, with a group of nuns in Missouri. And this is relevant, well, maybe not relevant, but uh, <clears throat> it's close to me. Uh, I live a few hours away from where these nuns are, well, for lack of a better term, they're being persecuted. Uh, I have an article here I'm going to read from. It's titled, Missouri Abbey Announces It Was Targeted by Shooter. Now, I heard this before from Church Militant, they put out a uh, report on it, and they provided a link to donate to the sisters. So I'm also going to put a link in the, the description down below. So I ask you please to go donate to these, uh, these nuns, the Benedictine Sisters of Mary, Queen of the Apostles. Now, if that name sounds familiar, I've talked about them on an episode before. They put out some absolutely gorgeous music, uh, and they do so. They did so to pay off an almost two million dollar debt that they were in. For uh, well, I don't remember quite the whole story, but they used to be in a much different location, and then moved to where they're at. It was a uh, I think they moved from a smaller place that was in, in a city somewhere, and now they're pretty much on a giant plot of land, a ranch, uh, so to speak. And they, they named the ranch Ephesus after uh, the city of Ephesus, where John the Apostle and Mother Mary <clears throat> wound up at one point where they found, they have actually found uh, Mary's, the house Mary lived in. Uh, in Ephesus, so they uh, they apparently have been targeted by a couple shootings, and I say a couple. From my memory, I think it was reported three. So the third time, someone has shot at their abbey. Now, like I said, for lack of better terms, this seems like persecution. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read it from the article now. We'll get this out of the way. It's not a very long article, but it's uh, it's from the Washington Examiner, and as I said, the title is Missouri Abbey Announces It Was Targeted by Shooter. A Roman Catholic abbey in an isolated part of Gower, Missouri, was reportedly shot at several times this month, bullets punching through the Mother Abbess's bedroom walls. If this proves to be a targeted attack, it is yet another data point in the worldwide trend of violence and bigotry aimed at places of worship, religious communities, and people of faith. On March 24th, the Benedictines of Mary, 
said Monday in a statement that just after 11 p.m., loud gunshots were heard by many sisters in the Abbey. Some of the sisters arose, but soon returned to sleep. As we have sadly become desensitized on account of the many incidents of inappropriate activity around our monastery. <clears throat> it added, In the morning, Mother Abbess discovered two bullet holes in her bedroom. A bullet had entered through the exterior wall, exterior wall punched a hole beneath the sacred heart picture, and continued to penetrate through the wall directly opposite, being stopped by sh a shower wall on its other side. Mother Abbess was sleeping several feet from the bullet's trajectory. For context, the Abbey is located in a remote, sparsely populated area. There are only about 1,526 residents in Gower, according to a 2019 U.S. Census Bureau estimate. Gower also has a relatively low crime rate. The Benedictines of Mary are not located in a bad part of town. Their abbey is not situated in some warlike urban sprawl. Basically, they're pointing at the fact that this is not some kind of random occurrence due to their surroundings. It's not, I, I live somewhat by a uh, major airport, kind of in a city area, and it's sadly somewhat common for me to hear gunshots outside. I have quite a few relatives that live around me, and, well, they hear them too. This isn't like that. Uh, these these nuns, these sisters live pretty much on a country ranch. You have to go out of your way to go and find them. Um, so I'll continue reading here. It is possible the alleged shooting is simply the byproduct of a reckless, lawless joyride. However, the Abbey is a 10-minute drive from the nearest city. Coupled with the fact that Mother Abbess's room specifically was shot up, leaves one with more than a sneaking suspicion the reported incident was a targeted act of violence. Though this has been rather unsettling, the Abbey's statement continued, We are all very much at peace. These types of situations, while very disturbing, are exceedingly good reminders to heed St. Benedict's words to keep death daily before one's eyes. It added, that does not mean we won't take necessary precautions for better security. Indeed, we have long desired more privacy and protection as our monastery sits at the intersection of two country roads. We are in the process of selecting tall fencing or sturdy wall panels to protect our buildings on this northeast section of our property, including our gardens where the sisters work every day. They estimated the planned security overhauls will cost upwards of $200,000. Thank you so much for your ongoing prayers and support, the statement concluded. We wish you all a most blessed Holy Week and a glorious Easter to follow. You are in our hearts and prayers during these holiest of days. A spokesperson for the Gower Police Department did not respond to the Washington Examiner's request for comment. Between the reported Abbey shooting and the many recent examples of attacks on places of worship and people of faith, it's difficult to read the monastery's account of what happened and not suspect targeted violence. The only other option is the big Benedictines of Mary are victims of a bizarre random shooting in the middle of nowhere, which would be nearly as bad, but for different reasons. If the alleged Gower shooting is an intentional attack, it is a continuation of a deeply disturbing and dark global trend. Indeed, between anti-faith hate crimes and massacres and the defacement, destruction, and vandalism of houses of worship and religious shrines, it feels as if we're living through the first 15 minutes of the exorcist, sacrilegious iconoclasm, and all. Acts of explicitly anti-religious violence are usually a sign of worse things to come. 
especially when the violence becomes the norm, not the exception. This sort of thing never ends well for anyone. So, now, a lot of what they were saying there, I, I don't know how many of you have followed much religious news, but it seems like almost every week, every weekend, sometimes twice in a weekend, sometimes twice in a week, that there seems to be a church vandalized, um, a statue destroyed, windows smashed. I, I, I see the reports all the time. I've I see them everywhere. Uh, this this isn't good. Um, and as I said before, for lack of a better term, this is persecution. Um, I, I'm not trying to you know scare anybody or or get anybody worked up here. I'm I'm just pointing out the obvious. Uh, so I ask that you all please keep the benedictines of Mary, Queen of the Apostles, in your prayers for their protection. Whoever's doing these attacks as well for their conversion of heart. And as well, I'm going to put a link to the benedictines of Mary, their uh, webpage, into the show notes. And I ask that you go and donate to help them build their uh, border fencing or the protective walls or whatever it is that they're building to protect themselves. Uh, I mean, these nuns, like I said, they're it, 10 minutes, of, like the article said 10 minutes away from the nearest city, 10 minutes. You got to go out of your way. They, they live on a, a country ranch, pretty much. They milk their own cows. They spend most of their day, like I think five to six hours worth of labor all day. And they're, silent. You can go find videos on them uh, from back in like 2014, 2017, and they explain their lifestyle out on the, you know, out in the, uh, uh, out in Ephesus, their, their abbey. It's, it's not a place that draws attention to itself. So someone has to go out of their way to do this. And it's, it's very sad, very tragic that someone would even consider shooting at nuns. Although, throughout history, I mean, we've been there before, and those were acts of persecution. And so, if someone's going out of their way to shoot nuns now, that's acts of persecution. So, please pray for them. Pray for whoever it is that, you know, is carrying these out. Uh, and if you can, uh, go down to the link below, click it, and make a donation to help them build whatever it is they need to build to protect themselves. So, <clears throat> so now I got that out of the way. <clears throat> we will, uh, we'll go ahead and we, we will do the Way of the Cross from the Father Lassance book here. Um, and it being Good Friday, I think we should keep the Benedictines and their, uh, their attacker in, uh, in our prayer. And our prayers moving forward while we do these here uh, stations. So go ahead and keep them in the back of your mind or, well, in the front of your mind. <laughs> um, and we will go ahead and get started. All right. Let me get my screen all set up here. And if, if you are listening on Anchor, I ask you please to click the link and come on over to the YouTube because there will be pictures for you to help meditate on the way of the cross. All right. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Most merciful Jesus, with a contrite heart and penitent spirit, I purpose now to perform this devotion in honor of thy bitter passion and death. I adore thee most humbly as my Lord and my God. I thank thee most heartily, my divine Savior, for the infinite love wherewith thou didst make the painful journey to Calvary for me, a wretched sinner, and didst die upon the cross for my salvation. I am truly sorry for all my sins, because by them I have offended thee, 
who art infinitely good. I detest them, and I am resolved to amend my life. Grant that I may gain all the indulgences which are attached to this devotion, and since thou hast promised to draw all things to thyself, draw my heart and my love to thee, that I may live and die in union with thee. Amen. <clears throat> the First Station Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus, most innocent and perfectly sinless, was condemned to death, and moreover to the most ignominious death on the cross. To remain a friend of Caesar, Pilate delivered him into the hands of his enemies. A fearful crime, to condemn innocence to death and to offend God in order not to displease men. O innocent Jesus, having sinned, I am guilty of eternal death, but thou willingly dost accept the unjust sentence of death that I might live. For whom, then, shall I henceforth live, if not for thee, my Lord? Should I desire to please men, I could not be thy servant. Let me, therefore, rather displease men and all of the world than not please thee, O Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus, crucified, have mercy on us. The second station. Jesus carries his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When our divine Savior beheld the cross, he stretched out his bleeding arms toward it, with eager desire, lovingly embraced it, tenderly kissed it, and placing it on his bruised shoulders, joyfully carried it, although he was worn and weary, unto death. O oh my Jesus, I cannot be thy friend and follower if I refuse to carry the cross. O oh dearly beloved cross, I embrace thee, I kiss thee, I joyfully accept thee from the hands of my God. Far be it from me to glory in anything, save in the cross of my Redeemer. By it the world shall be crucified to me, and I to the world, that I may be thine, O Jesus, forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. 
Our dear Savior, carrying the cross, was so weakened by its heavy weight as to fall exhausted to the ground. Our sins and misdeeds were the heavy burden which oppressed him. The cross was to him light and sweet, but our sins were galling and insupportable. O oh my Jesus, thou didst bear my burden and the heavy weight of my sins. Should I then not bear in union with thee my easy burden of suffering and accept the sweet yoke of thy commandments? Thy yoke is sweet and thy burden is light. I therefore willingly accept it. I will take up my cross and follow thee. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The Fourth Station Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. How painful and sad it must have been for Mary, the sorrowful mother, to behold her beloved son laden with the burden of the cross. What unspeakable pangs her most tender heart experienced. How earnestly did she desire to die in place of Jesus or at least with him. Implore this sorrowful mother to assist you graciously in the hour of your death. O Jesus, O Mary, I am the cause of the great and manifold pains which pierce your loving heart. O oh, that my heart also would experience at least some of your sufferings. Mother of Sorrows, pray for me that I may be truly sorry for my sins. Bear my sufferings patiently in union with thee, and merit to enjoy thy assistance in the hour of my death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The Fifth Station Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Simon of Cyrene was compelled to assist Jesus in carrying his cross, and Jesus accepted his assistance. How willingly would he also permit you to carry the cross? He calls, but you hear him not. He invites you but you decline his invitation. What a reproach it is to bear the cross reluctantly. 
O Jesus, whosoever does not take up his cross and follow thee is not worthy of thee. Behold, I will accompany thee on the way of the cross. I will carry my cross cheerfully. I will walk in thy blood-stained footsteps and follow thee, that I may be with thee in life eternal. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The Sixth Station Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Veronica, impelled by devotion and compassion, wipes the disfigured face of Jesus with her veil, and Jesus imprints on it his holy countenance, a great recompense for so small a service. What return do you make to your Savior for his great and manifold benefits? Most merciful Jesus, what return shall I make for all the benefits thou hast bestowed upon me? Behold, I consecrate myself entirely to thy service. I offer and consecrate to thee my heart. Imprint it on thy sacred image, never again to be effaced by sin. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The Seventh Station Jesus Falls the Second Time we adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The suffering Jesus, under the weight of his cross, again falls to the ground. But the cruel executioners do not permit him to rest a moment. Pushing and striking him, they urge him onward, it is the frequent repetition of our sins which, oppress, which oppresses Jesus. Knowing and realizing this, how can I continue to sin? O Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. Extend to me thy gracious hand and support me, that I may never fall again into my old sins. From this very moment, I will earnestly strive to reform my life and to avoid every sin. Help of the weak, strengthen me by thy grace, without which I can do nothing, that I may carry out faithfully my good 
resolution. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The Eighth Station The daughters of Jerusalem weep over Jesus. <clears throat> we adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. These devoted women moved by compassion, weep over the suffering Savior. But he turns to them, saying, Weep not for me, who am innocent, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Weep thou also, for there is nothing more pleasing to our Lord and nothing more profitable for thyself than tears that are shed in contrition for sin. O Jesus, who will give to my eyes a fountain of tears, that day and night I may weep for my sins, I beseech thee, through thy bitter tears, to move my heart to compassion and repentance, so that I may weep all my days over thy sufferings and still more over their cause, my sins. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus, crucified, have mercy on us. The Ninth Station Jesus Falls the Third Time we adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus, arriving exhausted at the foot of Calvary, falls the third time to the ground. His love for us, however, remains strong and fervent. What a fearfully oppressive burden our sins must be to cause Jesus to fall so often. Had he, however, not taken them upon himself, they would have plunged us into the abyss of hell. Most merciful Jesus, I return thee infinite thanks for not permitting me to continue in sin and to fall, as I have so often deserved, into the depths of hell. Enkindle in me an earnest desire to amendment. Let me never again relapse, but vouchsafe me the grace to per persevere in penance to the end of my life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. <clears throat> the Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. When our Savior had arrived on Calvary, he was cruelly despoiled of his garments. How painful this must have been. Because they adhered to his wounded and torn body, and with them parts of his bloody skin were removed. All the wounds of Jesus are renewed. Jesus is despoiled of his garments that he might die possessed of nothing. How happy shall I also die after casting off my evil self with all its sinful inclinations? Help me, Jesus, to conquer myself and to be renewed according to thy will and desire. I will not count the cost, but will struggle bravely to cast off my evil propensities, despoiled of things temporal. Of my own will, I desire to die, that I may live to thee forevermore. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus, after he had been stripped of his garments, was violently thrown upon the cross, to which his hands and his feet were nailed most cruelly. In this excruciating pain he remained silent, and perfectly resigned to the will of his heavenly Father. He suffered patiently, because he suffered for me. How do I act in sufferings and in trouble? How fretful and impatient how full of complaints I am. O Jesus, meek and gentle Lamb of God, I renounce forever my impatience. Crucify, O Lord, my flesh and its concupiscences. Punish me, afflict me in this life as thou willest. Only spare me in eternity. I commit my destiny to thee, resigning myself to thy holy will. Not my will, but thine be done. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Behold, Jesus crucified. Behold, his wounds, received for love of you. His whole appearance betokens love. His head is bent to kiss you. His arms are extended to embrace you. His heart is open to receive you. O oh, superabundance of love! Jesus, the Son of God, dies upon the cross, that man may live and be, de be delivered from everlasting death. O oh, most amiable Jesus, if I cannot sacrifice my life for love of thee, I will at least endeavor to die to the world. How must I regard the world and its vanities when I behold thee hanging on the cross covered with wounds? O oh, Jesus, Receive me into thy wounded heart. I belong entirely to thee. For thee alone do I desire to live and to die. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross Thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus did not descend from the cross, but remained on it until he died. And when taken down from it, he, in death as in life, rested on the bosom of his blessed mother. Preserve in your resolutions of reform, and do not part from the cross. He who persevereth to the end shall be saved. Consider, moreover, how pure the heart should be that receives the body and blood of Christ in the adorable sacrament of the altar. O Lord Jesus, Thy lifeless body, mangled and lacerated, found a worthy resting place on the bosom of thy virgin mother. Have I not often compelled thee to dwell in my heart, despite its unworthiness to receive thee? Create in me a new heart, that I may worthily receive thy most sacred body in holy communion, 
and that thou mayest remain in me, and I in thee, for all eternity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. The Fourteenth Station Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore thee, O Christ, and praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The body of Jesus is interred in a stranger's sepulchre. He who in this world had not whereupon to rest his head, would not even have a grave of his own, because he was not of this world. You who are so attached to the world, henceforth despise it, that you may not perish with it. O Jesus, thou hast set me apart from the world. What then shall I seek therein? Thou hast created me for heaven. What then have I to do with the world? Depart from me, deceitful world, with thy vanities. Henceforth I will follow the way of the cross, traced out for me by my Redeemer, and journey onward to my heavenly home, my eternal dwelling place. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus crucified, have mercy on us. Almighty and eternal God, merciful Father, who hast given to the human race thy beloved Son as an example of humility, obedience, and patience, to precede us on the way of the cross and on the way of life, graciously grant that we, inflamed by his infinite love, may take upon us the sweet yoke of his gospel and the mortifications of the cross, following him as his true disciples so that we may one day gloriously rise with him and joyfully hear the final sentence. Come ye, blessed of my Father, possess you the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. At the cross her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping, close to Jesus to the last. Through her heart, his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, now at length the sword had passed. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed, 
of the sole begotten one. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in miseries so deep, Christ's dear mother to behold? Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold? Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation, till his spirit forth he sent. O thou mother, fount of love, touch my spirit from above, make my heart with thine accord. Make me feel as thou hast felt, make my soul to glow and melt with my love of Christ my Lord. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew of my Savior crucified. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torments died. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep and pray, is all I ask of thee to give. Virgins of all virgins best, listen to my fond request, let me share thy grief divine. Let me, to my latest breath, in my body bear the death of that dying son of thine. Wounded with his every wound, steep my soul till it hath swooned in his very blood away. Be to me, O virgin nigh, lest in flames I burn and die in his awful judgment day. Christ, when thou shalt call me hence, be thy mother my defense, be thy cross my victory. While my body here decays, may my soul thy goodness praise, safe in paradise with thee. Amen. Pray for us, Virgin Most Sorrowful, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord Jesus Christ, that the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, thy mother, through whose most holy soul, in the hour of thine own passion, the sword of sorrow passed, may intercede for us before the throne of thy mercy, now and at the hour of our death, through thee, Jesus Christ, Savior of the world, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, now and forever. Amen. Prayer to Jesus Christ Crucified My good and dear Jesus, I kneel before you, asking you most earnestly to engrave upon my heart a deep and lively faith, hope, and charity, with true repentance for my sins and a firm resolve to make amends. As I reflect upon your five wounds and dwell upon them with deep compassion and grief, I recall, good Jesus, the words of the prophet David spoke long ago concerning yourself. They pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Well, there you have the Father Lassant's version of the Way of the Cross, or the Stations of the Cross. It's a little bit longer than uh, than I was hoping it'd be, but I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. it was, uh, I like that one just about as much as I like the uh, Memento Mori one, even though there's not really any scripture. There's a lot of uh, meditative stuff going on in there, <laughs> so... I'm going to go ahead and ask you all again to please go ahead and click down there on that uh, Benedictines of Mary, Queen of the Apostles link, and to go donate to them to help them build whatever protective measures they need to build to protect them from being shot at. It's still unreal to me, but... Um, I wish you all a very blessed uh, Good Friday and a holy Saturday, very happy, joyous Easter, and that, uh, well, as I always say, pray them rosaries every day, pray hard every day. Stay humble. God bless.